What is the HDTV future for a computer graphics workstation manufacturer? What are the synergies? A look at symbolics may provide a clue as to how the integration with HDTV may occur, regardless of the standard. What we're showing here is the new Symbolics XL animation system. This is the first commercially available workstation of its sort. It supports all video formats, both output and input, from NTSC up to HDTV. That includes the 240M standard and the new Zenith standard as well. Inside this workstation is our new frame thrower video graphics processor. The frame thrower processes video and graphics information at 4444 sampling across all formats. It includes Genlock for all video standards, as I mentioned, both 240M and Zenith. What we have here is the console for the workstation. This is where an animator might create the visuals, uh, the 3D geometry, the dynamics information. Um, this is the output of the frame thrower itself. In the upper right hand corner, we have a live NTSC screen. The NTSC screen is approximately 640 pixels. The high definition screen is approximately 1920 pixels. There are six screens worth of NTSC information in a single high def frame. This is the Sony Silicon Recorder. This frame store holds up to 32 frames of high def information. Once you acquire 32 frames, you can then output them as a continuous stream of 32 in one shot out to the one inch HDTV tape machine. Once you have the information in this form, it's an electronic medium, you can manipulate it, edit it, composite it with live action, do color correction, or we have the option using the Sony electronic of going out to 35 millimeter film. The best thing about 1125 is that there's a lot of equipment available today for it. It's easily interchangeable or convertible to and from film. It's easily down convertible to NTSC, down convertible to um, PAL. Uh, it, it, it's a very nice compromise when you look at the, whole, the constraints of the when you look at the constraints of the entire video production industry. 1125 is the least common denominator, and it solves almost everyone's problem.